All right, what's up guys? Uh, as you can tell, I'm out on the boat. I've got Kelvin out here with me. Uh, so we tried to do a little bank fishing this morning at, at a completely different spot. It was really cold this morning. Uh, when we were out there at like, what time did we get there? 6.30? It was early, yeah. It was like 39 degrees and the wind was blowing right at us. We were casting into the wind off the dam. It just didn't work out for us. So I ran back to my house, I grabbed the boat, we're now at a different lake um, and we're gonna see what we can do. It's pretty nice out right now. It's like 50-ish degrees. Uh, I think it's like 10 a.m. So the sun is starting to get pretty high in the sky, but we found a nice calm spot out of the wind here and uh, we're gonna try fishing. I think we're both gonna kind of fish for panfish. I got some worms. We're just gonna keep it simple and hang out and see if we can catch anything. So stay tuned guys, we'll see what we can do. All right, I'm gonna start with this dude on an ultralight. It's a little, beetle spin we'll see if we can do anything with that if if not i'll probably switch to a, a bobber and a worm or something real simple but for now we'll just see if we can one of us can hook into something don't don't go so far boat dang need spot lock Never caught anything on one of these beetle spins. I don't know why I've been throwing it for so long. There we go. <laughs> you spoke too soon. Oh, I didn't get it though, but something hit it for sure. Yeah, spoke too soon. Got one. Rolling. Yep, there we go. Kelvin got one. Nice crappie. I mean, if you want to keep them, I can throw them in the live well too. Very nice, man. That's a decent little size. There's some meat on them for sure. Let me turn my new big ass. Yeah, I mean it's definitely worth eating if you want to keep it. All right, let's get. Uh, let's see. There should be one of those switches. Should say live well. It says like aerator up, live well down, or something like that. Oh, like the aerator and light nav. Uh, do the air, uh, other side, that one. There you go. It's filling up. That's the first time using that thing, too. Big man. Well, maybe the crappie have all come out here. We will find out very quickly. Maybe I don't need a fold. You got another one? Damn, Kelvin's got the setup back there. You want to come back here? No. Nice, that's a nice bass. Is that crappie? Ooh, that's a big in. There you go. That's a keeper too. Kelvin's on fire back here. Huh. Something just jumped right there. Very nice. Stick them in the live whale. Well, Kelvin's on fire. I'm over here just failing. Oh, you see the, is that a heron? Blue heron? You can see the fish, where are they at, buddy? You got another fish? Damn, Kelvin, is that another crappie? Jeez, I need to switch to that color for sure. You have some or you need one? I've got some. Okay. If it helps out with something on there or not. I've just never, I've never seen anybody drag them like that on a bobber. This, so this double hook thing, this is kind of new to me. I've got actual double hook crappie rigs. Oh yeah. Yeah, I've never used them. Maybe I should try it. I always just did the single one with the split bobber, you know, and do the whatever, but after watching multiple YouTube fishermen doing this, it kind of made sense. Have you watched Richard Jean? Richard Jane the fish machine. And remember, go fishing when you can, cause it's good for you. It's been a while since I've watched any of his vids, but I used to watch them all the time. You get another one. Damn you, Kelvin. You're gonna have, that's a black nose. That's a good black nose. Oh wow, I see that now. I yeah, you're oh, gonna wow. have a, 
You're gonna have a, a bunch of fish to eat tonight. There you go, Kelvin. Put them up if you want. Nah, we'll see if I catch some. You're uh, you're doing good. I'm glad you're hooking up. Yeah, you're doing way better than me. I'm gonna switch it up for the next drift. And yeah, they're not interested in the old worm dangler. Something, yeah. Nothing's nothing's chewing on it. The only time I've ever got the white fish wife out fishing, uh, it was because my leg was still busted, and she brought me out here and hobbled my ass down to the end of this thing. <laughs> and we sat there and just tossed a couple lines in. And she caught a bullhead. I think we both caught a bullhead. Yeah, the old worm ain't doing the trick today. They are not interested. You get another one. Dang, Kelvin. And it's another crappie. Is that number five? Uh, You're going to catch a limit. What is the limit? Uh, 15. I want to go down. I got invited to go down to Kansas because the crappie spawn is starting down there and Kansas it limits 50 per person. Yeah, dude, if you go down there and you find them, you can come home with a bunch of meats. All right, I'm gonna start the big one. We'll go back down to the other end. Fires right up. All right, guys, we made a one full pass down the bank here, uh, and we've turned around and we're gonna make another pass. I've switched up to basically the same thing Kelvin was running. I put a, a jig head and a Bobby Garland below that bobber, and hoping. Maybe I can hook up like he did, just dragging that thing along behind us. We're gonna destroy him this time. Let's hope so. Or you'll destroy him again. <laughs> I won't catch anything. How's the fishing, guys? Few crappie, couple little bass. Nice. Nothing major. Yeah, there's like a channel here, kind of, and then it shallows back out on that side. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where's my... I like the lake, man. Nice campground? Yeah. It's not bad. Is my bobber under? Where's my bobber at? Yeah, I got a fish on. Yeah. Little bass guy. Not what I was looking for. How are you catching all the crappie and I'm hitting these tiny little bass? <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention talking to that guy. Maybe. If he comes back through, catch one. Maybe. Well, there we go, guys. Nothing fancy. Did you get one? Is that a crappie? And screw you. <laughs> put, put two hooks on. Oh. Maybe it's the weight. Maybe it's the weight that I, I've got going on. I don't think that would matter that much, but. I mean, you can keep it if you want. There's no size limit here. That was on the blue ice. Oh, I just super crossed your line. I'll, I'll get it in. I don't think it's going to do me any good. Ooh, something just tried to eat my bobber. You see that? Something came up and hit the bobber. It did it again. You see that? That might be. Eat the bait, you stupid goon. Twice it hit the bobber. Yeah, that was weird. Oh no, I got a fish. Hell yeah. I got a fish. Is it another stupid bass? It is. Why are you catching all the crappie and I'm catching bass? Tiny little guys. Yeah, he tried to eat the bobber twice. Well, number three of the dink bass for me, 
but I mean I'm catching fish. It'd be cool to catch some crappie though. What you fin up? Well, let this little dude go. See you later, buddy. Thanks for playing. I appreciate it. Well, Kelvin just nailed another crappie. I've kind of switched and I've been casting out a, a lip list just screwing around because I can't seem to catch crappie to save my life. Um, and we've we floated down to where we turned around last time. We turned around right here. We're gonna float the whole bank though before we go back because the second drift wasn't near as productive. Yeah, I need to go back to smaller stuff. This lipless is just not gonna work here, I don't think. Did you get another one? Oh. No, I was getting another way. God dang, God dang, God dang. All right. You want to switch spots again? Are you good? I'm good. I got to tie something on this rod anyway since I broke it off. Because they put the damn down. down. Right, right. Oh, no, he ain't going to eat it again. Right. I just had another fish, y'all, and I turned the camera on and he gets off because I'm not reeling it in because I'm trying to get it on film because I don't have the camera rolling. There we go. I got him. I got him. Tiny little bass guy. That's all I can catch, man. That's, it's crazy that, uh, I mean, you've caught a couple bass, but the, and quite a few all, crappie. They've all been the same size bass. The yeah, all these guys are tiny, but I mean, give it another five years, there might be a decent population of them in here. But for now, we're just gonna let this little dude go. Shoop. It's definitely windier over here. Ooh, something hammered it. There we go. That's a decent one. That's a decent one. Is that a crappie? There we go. That's a good crappie. Bam. Yeah. That's a slab. Video? Yeah, I got that one on video. Well, I finally caught a crappie, y'all. Only took all day for me. Orange. Orange and yellow. there we go y'all i finally caught myself one we're gonna go ahead and toss this dude in the live well bam well i'm stoked i finally caught a crappie better than all those dinky little bass you get one there we go there you go oh <laughs> lost it at the boat all right guys uh, we've caught a few fish. Um, I ended up finally hooking up with the crappie, but I'm gonna give that to Kelvin so he has a little bit better uh, stash to take home. There's no reason for me to take that, but we're gonna load the boat up and I'll see you guys when we get to the bank. She ain't perfectly sealed, but she does all right. Oh, uh, don't smoke, bad for you. <laughs> all right, guys, well, we're off the water. We caught a few fish. Uh, why don't we pop this live well open and take a look at those. I guess I need to drain the live well out too. Pull that out of there. Get it all over my feet. Well, Kelvin's got a good mess of fish to clean. I guess, what we got in there, six? Six, yeah. Six of them? few decent ones. Let that thing drain out. Live well works, which I'm pretty stoked about. I haven't had to use the bilge yet, which is a good thing. It does take on a little bit of water, but for what's a 98, 24, 23 year old boat? What right? year is it? 98. 
Yeah, I'm trying to do math in my head and I can't right now. 20 something. <laughs> 20 something years old. 90, yeah, 23 years. One, two, carry the three, six. <laughs> They're getting feisty as the water's going away. They are definitely alive. I'll take a couple of them out and show them to you. I'll hold them like I caught them. Hold them out really far too so they look Boom, huge. look at all the monsters. <laughs> uh, one of these might have been mine, I don't know. Um, I caught one decent one. There's four more in here. These are probably the two biggest ones though, but congrats to Kelvin for catching so many. Have some to eat tonight. Yeah, he's got a good dinner. Uh, it was a day well spent. Kelvin's the one that invited me out this morning to go fish. And then we hit a spot and we just didn't have any luck. So we went and got some breakfast, which was really good. I ran home and got the boat and we came out here and we had some more luck out here. So that was pretty awesome. Um, yeah. Good job, man. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and close this one out, guys. Uh, great time today. We're going to be doing a lot more fishing, uh, but we will be doing some boating and camping here shortly so stay tuned for that but i'm gonna close this one out guys hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for the next adventure i'll see you in a bit